Donald Trump had been complaining about all these conspiracy theories regarding the Mueller investigation. And so as a result, he wanted his attorney general, William Barr, to investigate the investigation into Russian meddling and possible collusion between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. And he would talk about it a lot, especially in public. Remember this? I hope they now go and take a look at the oranges, the oranges of the uh, uh, investigation, the beginnings of that investigation. You look at the origin of the investigation. The Mueller report, I wish, covered the oranges, how it started. Well, those oranges have been juiced and William Barr has come up with nothing, okay? In fact, the Washington Post got the scoop on this story and I love this headline. It shows that, no, nope, nothing. Barr's handpicked prosecutor tells Inspector General he can't back right wing theory that Russia case was US intelligence setup. So let's give you the details on that. What does this all mean? Well, John Durham, the US attorney chosen by William Barr to lead the investigation, told the Justice Department's Inspector General, who conducted his own probe, that he has found no evidence to support claims that a Maltese professor who spoke with former Trump campaign advisor George Papadopoulos was secretly a US intelligence asset. Ooh. So the intelligence agency said the professor was not a among their assets and Durham informed Horowitz's office that his investigation had not produced any evidence that might contradict the inspector general's findings on that point. So that Trump supporter I spoke to who said that this was all gonna exonerate Donald Trump, the Horowitz report, it was gonna get all the Democrats. It sounds like uh, sounds like that's not gonna happen. And um, yeah, my one uh, non-substantive point is that William Barr looks like the Mucin X-Man. Does anyone notice that? Yes, mm -hmm. okay. the Mucinex like cartoon like, character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, 100%. there's <laughs> that is a couple of uh, comparisons: Pepe the Frog. Oh right. Uh, yes, and, and others. Okay, so look, uh, I I love that we wasted taxpayer money. Sarcasm. <laughs> Uh, the, it, investigating this wild conspiracy. That I think it was a professor from Malta who actually was a CIA agent who started the investigation of Donald Trump as a plan. Or FBI or whatever conspiracy theory QAnon came up with and we wasted taxpayer money on. But here it is, Durham was picked by Barr to be a lackey. Uh, he was known as that, in fact, when he was announced, a lot of people were concerned, they're like, "Oh my God, Durham's gonna do this investigation. He'll find anything to blame the Democrats and, mm -hmm. and pretend that this happened. And he couldn't and even do that? Yeah, he didn't <laughs> do it. And so, and Barr, who is as big a lackey and, and extreme right winger and, and, and loyal to Donald Trump, etc., they got together and they couldn't find any evidence that it was in fact our intelligence agencies who were trying to make sure that Donald Trump doesn't win and plant this evidence and blah, blah, blah. Mm. It was all fantasy. Once again, taxpayer money to appease a right wing that is purely emotional in their analysis of the situation. And they work backwards from their conclusion, which is that Donald Trump is phenomenal and he didn't do anything wrong. So like, we are wasting our time with all of these reports and with this taxpayer funded IG thing that like that they're not gonna be swayed. The people who are already committed to the facts know what the reality is and the Trumpers, it, it's, it's all pure emotion and fealty to Trump from this point. So again, the, the people that were gonna be swayed by this, it, 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 it didn't make a difference. Yeah, I just want to clarify. So Durham was appointed by uh, William Barr uh, to pursue this uh, for, at the Justice Department level. So the Harwood's report that Emma's referring to is the Inspector General of the FBI. Mm -hmm. And he came to the conclusion that Durham did. Uh, so <laughs> they both agree, total nonsense theory. Now, Horowitz said, look, it's not that the FBI didn't do anything wrong. And here are the couple of missteps that they had. We're gonna see his full report a little bit later. But right. these are the reports of what he concluded. And so we'll see what things that he thinks the FBI did wrong. But he apparently concluded, no, it was not a setup. They were not trying out to get Donald Trump. And there was no plot against them at all. So I can be a little more specific because the Washington Post was able to review a draft of Horowitz's report, even though it hasn't been made public yet, it hasn't been finalized. And so just to give you a sense of the wrongdoing by FBI officials, they just found examples of members of the FBI who don't like Donald Trump. 
because they're humans and humans have political opinions, right? But they determined, Horowitz determined that their you know, dislike for Donald Trump did not in any way negatively impact the fairness of the Mueller investigation. There was one example of an FBI lawyer, Kevin Kleinsmith. Horowitz found that a low level FBI lawyer, Kleinsmith, doctored an email that was used as part of the warrant application process, potentially significant misconduct that Durham is now exploring as a possible crime. Horowitz found that he sent messages suggesting a dislike of Trump, including one saying, Viva la resistance. And so the the whole idea there is, look, they're trying to get a, a warrant, and including something like that in the email is going to make uh, maybe a judge issuing the warrant question whether or not there's like some sort of political motivation behind yeah, now, it. Yeah, to be fair, he didn't put viva la resistance as the email uh, for the judge. That then he wouldn't have gotten the warrant. It was in a separate uh, text, I believe. So what the inspector general is saying is he might have changed an important material part of the warrant to get the warrant and that is problematic and it really is. No one should do that, it doesn't matter who you're investigating. And we don't know if it was something that would have changed the outcome of whether they could have gotten that warrant or not. So that's important and if he did that wrong, he should be held accountable for that. Separately, they're saying he didn't like Trump, he did viva la resistance. But, and so, but at the end of the day, none of this was driven by political bias. And, and none of his superiors at the agency said, hey, go do this. Hey, we've got a plot against Trump. Hey, make sure you doctor the warrant. No, it's one guy on one warrant that did not affect the rest of the case at all from what we see so far reported in the Washington Post. And then in terms of what the Trump people will cling on to, it That's doesn't- they'll cling on to. Yeah, of course, it doesn't matter that the Inspector General overall said there was no plot. They were not out to get him, the political bias did not affect the overall process. It doesn't matter that Durham, their handpicked guy says there was no evidence at all. What they'll cling on to is the warrant was documented and they didn't like Trump, they didn't like Trump. But wait a minute, more than half the people at the FBI based on, now there was no poll done to be fair, but based on internal reporting from source of the FBI, voted against Hillary Clinton. And they definitely, those folks did not like Hillary Clinton at all. That doesn't mean there was a plot against Hillary Clinton. By the way, if there was a plot against anyone, it would have been Hillary Clinton because she lost. What kind of a plot does the FBI run where Donald Trump wins? Right? It makes no sense at all. Not liking a particular political candidate is not remotely an issue. It's if you use that to actually doctor evidence or fix a case or do a plot against someone, that would be problematic. And both different people looking into this case said that did not happen, definitively did not happen in terms of a plot against these folks by any higher ups or overall organization. If we never talk about the Mueller investigation again, I would be very happy. Like I'm so sick of it at this point. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of everyone who's involved in it. I'm sick of the fact that Democrats emphasized it for so long and decided not to pursue the obstruction of justice charges. 10 instances of obstruction of justice in Democrats. Like Trump doesn't realize he's the luckiest man alive. 100%. Luckiest man alive in the political world because any other politician, both Democrat and Republican, wouldn't get away with this kind of stuff. Donald Trump has consistently, and he still whines and cries about it. The only reason why we're still talking about the Mueller report is because of Trump and his lackeys. Yeah, Let it go, you got away with it. Let it go. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it, God. It, you, it, Pelosi was handed a gift of 10 obstruction charges and she chose to throw it away. If I was Trump, I'd be like, Shh, don't ever talk about it again. I can't believe we got away with it. But he can't help himself, he, he digs the hole deeper. Okay, well, let's do an investigation of the Mueller report so that everybody can talk about it again. Such a knucklehead. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.